From NPR News, it's all things considered. Scientists suggest that a lot of oil from the ruptured BP well settled to the seafloor, as NPR's Richard Harris reports. The research vessel Oceanus is on a quest to answer... The voice is NPR science correspondent Richard Harris, and this is his office, Nature. When I was up here 30 years ago, there were no windmills like this. He's back from Washington, visiting the California hills where his career began. It probably takes about a thousand of them to equal one nuclear power plant, so... Today, the voice known to millions has an audience of one, his son. And he's not just talking windmills, he's revealing his passion. He grew up in Mill Valley, where nature was his playground and his classroom. It made Richard want to be a scientist, and in a way, he already was one. I wandered around on the hills like this in Marin County, where I grew up over the hills, picking up owl pellets and examining what was in them. But here's the rub. Richard's father was a reporter for the San Francisco Chronicle who told great dinnertime stories. And every day was a different story, and I thought, gee, it would be nice to have a job that had that much variety. So when Richard headed for UC Santa Cruz and Crown College, conventional wisdom said he couldn't become both a reporter and a scientist. That wisdom was wrong. At Santa Cruz, it was there's a spectrum here, and pick and choose from the spectrum, combine things, put together writing and science, that's great. And that kind of, that kind of exposure, that kind of encouragement was just terrific for me. John Wilkes ran that UC Santa Cruz science communication program, and he says that even then, Richard stood out. He's willing to go as far as you have to go to get to, to, get to talk to people, the key people in a story. He, he finds a way to get to them, and. Once he gets them, they, they just fall in love with him and they'll tell him anything he wants to hear. Graduating as Crown College valedictorian, Richard headed for Livermore, California as a cub reporter. His first scoop was huge. Livermore Lab was quietly developing third-generation nuclear weapons. Then, after a stint at the San Francisco Examiner, Richard got the offer of his life, science correspondent for National Public Radio. And as NPR's Richard Harris reports, the answer is above our heads. Global warming has not stopped. The last Climate change in New Mexico, SARS epidemic in China, drought in Africa, marine life in the Arctic. For 24 years, Richard's been trying my best to bring science and bring a scientific sensibility to stories so that people can understand how science can inform decisions. He admits the tough part was not the subject matter, but learning to switch from print to conversational writing. But Richard Harris succeeded because he learns fast, explains clearly, and he speaks truth. In fact, despite his Peabody and a host of other awards, his proudest moment came. When President Obama in a news conference admitted that they blew it when they were trying to figure out how much oil was spewing out of that gulf. And that was what I was trying to get the government to say, and the president owned up to it. He is the most effective ambassador for our program, I could imagine. How can this be used to improve human health? I mean, that's Making sense of science, whether on the national stage or on a country road. I love being out here. These, these golden hills really... I really know how science works as a result of my time at Santa Cruz, and that serves me tremendously every day at work. Serving tremendously. How can we thank you? Figuring all that out will probably take many years. Richard Harris, NPR News.